Beast and Yaya's catering Original spicy blend I really put that on everything Yaya's catering Original, that's so food spice Only seasoning you need to have your food taste right Family, I'm gonna tell y'all right now Trust the process Because this video is wacky what is popping my youtube fam welcome or welcome back to the channel on the menu today you guys we are going to attempt okay to make some brillera tacos because i have been seeing them all over the place and i've been tempted to make them i know they've been out but now i'm tempted to taste and make them because the way they be dipping it in that sauce we have to try it so right here we have a chuck roast Okay, and we lightly seasoned it uh, right now with some kosher salt and black pepper. We got some olive oil in the pan, and now we are about to get a good sear on this meat. And after that, I don't know what I'm going to do. I think after that, see, here's the thing, y'all, where I'm having a dilemma. Hold on. Let me get the rest of the ingredients. Hold on. Okay, fam, because I was rambling too much in this clip. So what I just did is like speeded it up for y'all, okay? Because I know a lot of y'all don't like a lot of talking. So, and I was rambling. But y'all, this is just where I'm gutting out these chilies. Nothing big major to see. I'm just going to fast forward through this part. This is the process. Not too much on my pants though, honey, because I do got some brand new ones in the cut, okay? Not too much. Not too much on my pants. This out. Ouch. Oh, I don't know why I'm trying to do it with these food tongs. Anyways, y'all, I'll show y'all the other side in a minute because I can't get it out with the food tongs. Okay, beautiful YouTube fam. I have my ingredients prepped here. I think that I got everything. I got the three types of chilies that I'm going to use. I got, um, I'll probably use a half of this white onion, a half of that red onion. I got some cinnamon sticks. I got some peppercorn, some whole garlic. I'm going to toss in these herbs right here. And I think that's it. So the first thing I'm going to do is because they said that it um, wakes up the flavor in the peppers when you saute them in a hot pan. So I'm going to saute them, in, saute them blah, in that same pan that I did the roast in. And it said it just wakes up the flavor. It makes the flavor more robust. So let's start our broth, y'all, or kasume, they call it. Y'all, when I tell y'all, they never lied. Saute those peppers. I'm still choking. Them joints got so potent. It definitely brought the flavor out of the peppers, y'all. Saute those peppers for about five to six minutes. They said you don't want to saute them too long because um it will make your casame um, bitter. But y'all, listen, still choking off of it. It definitely wakes up the flavor. So here is our um broth pot. I filled it to the brim with um water. And what I did is I used these I love using the beef flavor almost better than using the liquid um, beef broth or beef stock. So this is what I have in there. No other seasonings. All I'm doing is just like the, that um, bouillon, those bouillon cubes. I did three of them. They're kind of big. They're kind of on the bigger side. They're not the small ones. So I did three of those. Then I got the I got some rosemary in here, um, cilantro, oregano, and the bay leaves. I got the chilies. I went ahead and put both whole onions because this really has to boil for 29 days. So I got the garlic in there. So that's what it's looking like. And we have our roast right here, nice and seared. So now what I'm about to do is, that's where I was confused, y'all. I didn't know if I should just boil everything together. You know what I'm saying? Like if I should just go ahead and throw the... I think I'm supposed to do that though. And I'm also feeling like I'm missing something. Like what make what gives it that red color? Because I'm thinking... I need to look back at the video. <coughs> excuse me, y'all. Still choking. I need to look back at the video because... <coughs> excuse me. Because I think it's supposed to be some tomatoes up in this joint. But... I think you add them when you blend everything in. So I don't know. Let me check myself before I wreck myself. But we having fun. It's low key, no rules to this. You know what I'm saying? I'm having fun. I feel like it's going to come out good. 
we go see. But um, what was I about to say, y'all? What was I about to say? Blah, 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 blah. So I'm about to just throw the roast in. I'm about to let everything just boil all together. And then towards the end, I'm going to just take everything out. Boom. Um, put it in a blender. Boom. But I definitely got to check and see where those tomatoes coming at. And y'all, I didn't use no other seed, no garlic powder, onion powder, no um, seasoned salt, none of that because... Right now, I just wanted to just marry with the herbs, the bouillon cube, the onion. And then when at the end, that's when we go check it for that flavor. See if we need to put some of that everything on it, take it up a notch. But y'all, this is what it's looking like so far. Now I'm about to let it boil low and slow. And my favorite, Big Trusty, this Big Trusty right here. I'm about to let it go low and slow and Big Trusty. And then I'm going to check back with y'all. I ain't even going to bother y'all no more. I'm probably going to check back with y'all. When it's like, when I'm about to take all the stuff out to strain it. Booyah. Stay tuned. Okay, you guys, I figured it out. So, here's my um bag. What is it called? My blender. My blender joint. I got some diced tomatoes in here, and I got some uh, sofrito. I got some sofrito in there as well. And now what I'm about to do is just scoop out all of the good stuff like this. And we're going to put it over here in the blender. We want everything but those cinnamon sticks and those bay leaves. So let me do this. I need two hands. Stay tuned. Uh-uh. No. Absolutely not. No, no, no. No, no. Y'all. So I went ahead. I tasted this. Now, mind you, I didn't really season. I didn't add no seasonings, really. Okay? But it's definitely going to need some flavor. This right here, the, the Casame right here, before we drain it, tastes like spicy tomato juice water. This tastes like spicy beef water there is absolutely you taste the you you taste exactly what i put in there herbs it's very aromatic you could definitely taste the chilies in both the um in in, in both now i am going to combine these two i am going to combine them but i want this uh roast to uh boil out simmer you know simmer down and get really 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 tender before i add in that back to that so i'm gonna let this water probably cook down midway but baby we got to take this flavor up a notch because no absolutely not y'all when i tell y'all no it don't taste like nothing it's just it tastes like it's not nasty it just don't have no flavor at all then remember i only hit my chuck roast with um salt and pepper now you know we about to take these flavor we about to take this flavor game up 10,000 notches because, baby, it's not given. And, and it is, it is, for me, it's not like, oh, my God, it's so spicy. I can't eat it. But for me, I'm definitely only probably going to have about two of these joints because me and spice, are, we don't get along. So, y'all, let's let this finish um, cooking in our pot. And, honey, what I'm actually about to do is toss in some seasonings right now as this is cooking down and i think i'm gonna add some more peppers and onions in there we just gotta now it's time to do it the way that i want to do it okay we followed the blueprint now let's make it our own stay tuned okay family now we getting somewhere okay my chuck roast is exactly where i want it baby like butter okay so now we about to take this roast we about to throw it in a pan with some of the sauce, listen, y'all, this is a labor of love. But, baby, look at that roast. Oh, my gosh. Y'all, just stay with me. Stay with me. Trust the process. All right, YouTube fam, this, this was a lot to do. So, this is the meat. It's, it was already cooked down in the casume sauce. I took it out of the big pan and put it in this um, fryer pan because I just wanted to like re-season it up a little bit with like some steak seasoning, complete seasoning because I had to build the flavors up like a lot. But um, I got my station right here where I am going to um, 
be assembling the tacos. Right here, I have like all these different cheeses. I got pepper jack cheese. Let me get my rag out the way. I got uh, pepper jack cheese. I got the fresco cheese. I got the Mexican. I got taco cheese. I got mozzarella cheese. So this is where I'm going to assemble it. Also, what I'm about to do is I'm about to add in some of these um, peppers and onions too. I got some diced onions and I'm going to add in these um, frozen green peppers and onions. I'm just trying to like, now at this point we making it our own. So we're going to let this simmer down. I got my rest of my sauce right here. I also got some sauce right there because I'm going to be making like little cute little um, taco to go boxes for the fam today. So yeah, y'all stay with me. Okay, y'all then went ahead and uh, use my little stand grater here and i grated up some cheese as well i grated up some pepper jack cheese and this is kobe jack and i also have some mozzarella in here hope y'all can see it but i love this little grater ah i got off of uh hsn y'all but yeah so i got some grated cheese here so let me take y'all over to my build station Okay, fam, we back at the building station. I know this is the part everybody wants to see because I'm excited about this too because I want to know how they're going to come out, what they're going to look like. So the only thing that I'm not doing, y'all, is I got my shells here and I'm kind of mad because Instacart, they got me the small um, corn tortilla shells. So I'm kind of mad about that because I'm going to have to make a million of them. But let's dip it in. And the only thing, I got my sauce over here where you guys can't can't see and I'm gonna make a mess I need to put it closer so there's one shell but what I was trying to say is two shells we'll do three we'll start with three. Oh, that is some potent sauce you hear me this is some potent sauce okay and here's our third shell okay y'all so Look at me messing up already. Okay, cheese. Now, the only thing I don't have is, because nobody likes it, is cilantro. Nobody messes with cilantro. So I'm just going to put some parsley flakes. And I got all my cheese mixed together in my, right here. So this is mozzarella. Um, What is it? Mozzarella, pepper jack, and Kobe. And then I got the Mexican cheese right here. We're going to lay down. We're just going to crumble that because it crumbles right up like that. Crumble that up like that. Boom, boom, boom. Right. So then we got to take our meat. Remember, nobody likes nobody likes uh, cilantro. So to give it that pretty green pop of color, we're going to do some dry parsley. And we're going to go over here. I got stuff everywhere, y'all. Can't really, shells ain't but so big. Can't really put a lot of meat. Boom and boom, right? Boom, boom. Boom, boom. The thing about this, too, you got to move quick. It's one of them, it's one of them move quick recipe so and I hope y'all could see so I'm about to fold this this one because I know you guys want to see this so and then we go fold this one oh, 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 oh. and then we go fold this one oh yeah that's looking pretty good yep 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 flip yep yep flip flip now that see I like the color of that one so I'm going to have to soak them more because I like this color. It's like this one took on more. But y'all, this is, look, it, it goes quick. But look, that's what it's giving. It's giving. Let me see something because I want, when I tell y'all I got stuff all over the place, I really want that red color. So I'm going to put a little bit more and a little bit more. And then I'm going to flip it like that, like that, and like that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. 
Okay, so y'all, let me finish doing it. That's what I'm just about to do a million times. So let me finish doing that, and I'll hit y'all back. Okay, my beautiful YouTube fam, I almost forgot to, let me see. There we go. I almost forgot to close out the video, but y'all, this is what it's looking like. This is what it's hitting for. Yes, it was hard work. Yes, it was very much so. It took a long time. Um, I definitely had to play with the flavors and get it to my liking. I think it came out good. I think the chilies is still um, the star of the show in the in the casume. I mean, it came out really good. Loaded with cheese. They came out really good. The only thing about these, you have to eat them right away. See, I would prefer mine's like crispy. So if you make them, I will put them in the um, air fryer just to get the, um, like if you make them ahead of time, just toss them in the air fryer just to get a little crisp on there, unless you like them soft. So, but this is what it's looking like. That's the sauce right here. Came out pretty good. So, as always, I thank you guys so much for tuning in to this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I cannot wait to see you in the next one. Until then, everybody stay safe and stay... Kasume. Baria. Blessed. Need to have the food taste right on everything. Chef T's and Yaya's catering. Original spicy blend. I really put that on everything. Yaya's catering. Original that so food spice. Only seasoning.